about 20 minutes from now as we first enter into a round of confessions, something we like to do somewhere in the show on most Wednesdays. And the idea is here you are at the midpoint in the week, and maybe there's something you're carrying with you, whether it's kind of silly or serious, it's it's weighing down on you. And would it be easier just to push through the rest of the week if you could just get that off and just out into the, the universe and you are now absolved when you step to the Playhouse Confessional and drop a confession, a dirty little secret, a skeleton in your closet, uh, whatever you want to call it. You look guilty today, Amy. I look guilty? You look guilty. Is there something you'd like to, to confess? No, it's not as bad as last week where I was stealing the tissue. Okay, but there's something. Okay, two weeks ago today, I was proposed to. I remember. Yes. Now, remember, two weeks ago, okay? That's fairly recent. Mm -hmm. So many people, every time they see me, text me, are calling me, have you figured out a date yet? Have you figured out a date? Have you got a dress? I just want to tell everybody to leave me alone and to back off, and I'll plan it when I want to. It's driving me insane, and I want to know, is it bad that I just feel like I'm not in a hurry? You were in a hurry to get engaged, not so much actually married. Well, I would like to get married. I'm even fine if we would run away and get married and not tell anybody. But it's just... Wow, that really screws up me (laughs) officiating it, but that's fine. (laughs) I'm sorry, but it's just driving me insane. It's been two weeks, and I just feel like it's going to get worse as time goes on. People are going to continue to ask... Have you figured out how to save the date? When are you going to get married? And then once we're married, people are going to start saying, have you figured out when you're going to have babies? Are you going to have kids? Just back off and stop with all the questions. Hey, real quick. Do you have a date yet? No. (laughs) It got so annoying. I got, I, we got on a calendar, Stephen and I, and he said, let's find a Saturday next year and we'll just tell people that's the date. So that's what we've been doing. We just figured out a random date and that's what we said. And we don't, I don't think that's actually going to be the date, but that's what we've told people. Do you think you'll say it enough that that'll just magically become the date? That'll become the date? I don't know. I also, my, our boss, he asked me, when is it happening? I said, I don't know. It's it's been like a couple days. I don't know when it is. So that's why we came up with this date. And now it's written upstairs on the board that says date is blah, blah, blah. Oh, well, I feel like that's the day now. Congratulations. No, we can't. That's not it. What is that fake date? I think it's September 24th, which I don't think is going to actually be the real date. I said it. That'd be a good day. Let's double check. 9-24-22. It has a ring to it. Yeah, it would be 9-24-22. I said we could wait. It doesn't need to happen all right away. Everyone just needs to back off, relax. Let us just have some time. Jeez. 9-24-22, the day she said I do. Is that, what is that going to be my hashtag? You can give out koozies. 9-24-22. The day she said I do. How it's about still the day they say yeah. I do? Yeah, I suppose. So then we're both, me there and him are involved. The, the name they said, the day they said I do. Oh, you're messing with my rhyme. That still rhymes the day they said I do. Yeah, it's fine. What do you, it's 22 I already ordered and the koozies. That I rhyme. already ordered the koozies. See, look, someone said, I was engaged for two and a half years. Enjoy the engagement. Thank you. Just back off, everybody. Your confession today. Hi. My confession is that my husband records a lot of shows on our DVR, shows that I hate. So okay. Sometimes I delete them and pretend like they didn't record, so he won't make me watch them. There you go. Hey, go full streaming service, because then it's just there. It's already recorded there. It's just already there. You don't have to do anything to keep it. What is he recording? Is it stuff that he can stream on Hulu or Netflix or whatever? He doesn't deserve to keep it there. It's got to go. I think, though, almost anything, no matter what it is, you can find it somewhere on some streaming service, or I'm sure they have the episodes online after they air. Yeah, I think you are in your right. Your confessions, 237, it's text 35270. What are we seeing? Amy K. Someone said, my confession is I love watching people spend money when we go to stores. I will say something is cute or agree with their idea because I want them to send, spend money. It's so bad. When I'm with my mom and husband, it's the worst. Oh, that's terrible trying to. No, that's great. You just like people spending money. So you're like a shopaholic, but it's not even you doing the shopping. You get other, other people do. That is a really nice top. Yeah, you should buy it deep down. You think, oh, that's so terrible. What a great solution, though, if you are addicted to shopping, if you can get the same high out of watching other people shop. 
You think so? Yeah. It can't be the same way. You wouldn't think so, but it seems to be working for her. Maybe you go along for the shopping trip. Yeah, you should buy that. Your confession today. Good morning. My boyfriend uses an electric toothbrush, which sits on our bathroom sink 24 hours a day. Uh, But my cat, for some reason, loves chewing on it. And I do not have the heart to tell him. I don't want him to hate my cat because he already sort of never really liked cats. But when we moved in with each other, he was like, yeah, it'll be fine. But now the cat is gnawing, gnawing hard on his toothbrush. And I feel like, should I just buy him a new one as a surprise gift? Like, hey, babe, I got you this new toothbrush. It was on sale. Seems like the least you could do if your cat's nibbling on it. Especially uh, if the cat's really chewing on it. I don't think you should say, hey, I bought you this. It's on sale. Say, I thought you could use a new toothbrush. Here you go. On account of the chewing that's happening. That I think that's what she's trying to leave out. Why keep it? Put it in a drawer, man. Put it in a drawer. That is true. Hide it somewhere so yeah, the cat doesn't chew it up. Then have to have cat spit all over it anymore. Your confessions two three seven. It's text three five two seven zero.